Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm so excited. I just got back from our convention that I learned this wonderful technique. I can't wait to show you. I call it the window sheet background technique using our Stampin' Blends. You're going to need for this technique, you're going to need that spritzers and I put alcohol in it, rubbing alcohol in it. You're going to need our Stampin' Blends and a heat tool and a window sheet. Now I've just for purposes of showing this technique have cut it card size but I would normally make it a bigger card size because I would fold it over. So let me show you how this works. You're going to want to get your alcohol marker ready to go because you're going to spritz it. So any kind of way that you want to go ahead and do this I'm just going to do it a bunch of times back and forth and it doesn't have to be exact. It can go inside of each other, blend just fine. And if you notice, I'm using some really cool markers that you probably haven't seen. These are our new in color blends. Now, because I want to do a couple more colors, I think I'm going to go backwards and do the green again, and then the blue, and then a little more of the pink doesn't have to be perfect. Every single time you do this, it's going to look different. So now we're going to take our spritzer and it has alcohol in it. You might want to wipe an A on the bottom. Okay, we're just going to spritz it all up like this. And then we're going to take our heat tool and blow it so it goes into each other and it blends. So it makes this wonderful cool background. And no two are exactly alike. And you can kind of shape how your how it looks by drawing it. Okay, so let me put this. I'm going to blot it just a little bit where that one spot is that I'm not using. I'm going to put it on here. Look how cool that background is. So I would actually turn it upside down. And then so the alcohol is facing towards the cardstock. Isn't that a cool background? Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to make like a sunset with this same technique. Take another piece of our window sheet and I'm going to make the sun first. Kind of like a half, half moon. And I'm going to make the bluish green water. And I'm going to add some little green in there just to kind of give it a little measure of green color. And then I'm going to add a purple sky. Now I've, I've just used all the dark colors of all these blends. I'm not using the lighter colors because I want it to be more of a darker hue. And they don't have to touch each other or they can touch each other. There's no right and wrong with this. Because every single time you, it, you do it, it, it's different. Okay, now we've got that. Now we're going to turn this on and kind of blend it. And if you want more alcohol, you just put more on there. And you could even put a little more of the blending brush on there. So I want this to be a little bit darker. Let's do it again. We're just at a very dark, dry area, so everything dries really fast. Even after it dries, let's see, if I want to add more color to it or more alcohol, like let's say I want the sun to be a little bit darker. I can add more right here in this spot and then go ahead and spritz it again. So there's not really, you can, it's kind of mistake free how it's, how you do it. Let me show you now, if I turn this over, I'm going to blot it again. All right, and then put it on this so it's got kind of that look. Let me show you a card that's done with both of these. Here's a rainbow one right here. And I actually spritz it with, and you, you won't be able to see it, but I spritz it and it has Wink of Stella on it. So this is the side I spritzed right here. And then I turned this down and it kind of gave it that little extra Putting black on it really makes it pop too. Okay, here's the other one that's got the 
sunset in there and I just put that on the card right there. I made the sun and the setting part and the water. So this is how you do the window sheet background technique with your Stampin' Blends. It's such a fun technique to do so many different backgrounds with. So if you're interested in any of these products, click the links below and have fun doing the window sheet background technique. And if you're new here, we post a video every Wednesday, so make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.